Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable equations. So let's get going. Problem solve x squared d squared plus 2xd minus 20 into y equal to 1 plus x whole square. We are given an equation with variable equations. Now we are going to reduce this to an equation with constant equations by making a substitution. Okay. Give an equation or give an differential equation. x square d square plus 2xd minus 20 into y equal to 1 plus x whole square which is a Cauchy's equation. Now let's make the substitution. Put e power z equals to x or x equals to e power z. Then log x to the base equals to z. Better we can write it as x equals to e power z. Okay. Put x equals to e power z. Then log x to the base equals to z. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then xd equals to theta. x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Now the upper equation becomes theta of theta minus 1 plus 2 theta minus 20 into y equal to 1 plus e power z whole square. We will replace x by e power z. Okay. Then theta into theta theta square minus theta plus 20. Sorry. 2 theta minus 20 into y equal to 1 plus e power z whole square. e power z whole square can be written as e power 2z directly or we can write e power z whole square is as e power z into e power z. Now add the powers. We will get e power z plus z equals to e power 2z. Right? e power z whole square is e power 2z. Plus 2 into 1 into e power z is 2 e power z. This equation becomes theta square. Plus 2 theta minus theta is plus theta minus 20 into y equal to 1 plus e power 2z plus 2 e power z. Right? See, so we have reduced the given equation to an equation with constant equations right which is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z right f of theta into y equals to function of z now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp let's now find yc and yp where f of theta equals to theta square plus theta minus 20, right? The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of theta, theta square plus theta minus 20, right? Let, then just replace differential operator theta by m. So that will get f of m equals to m square plus m minus 20. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus m minus 20 equals to 0. Let's write plus m as plus 5m minus 4m. Now take m common from the first two terms and 4 common from the next two terms. We will get m times m plus 5 
and take minus 4 common from the next two terms. Okay, we'll get minus 4 times m plus 5 equal to 0. So m plus 5 appears in both the terms. So let's take m plus 5 common from these two terms. We'll get m plus 5 into m minus 4 equal to 0. Now equate each term or each factor to 0. From m plus 5 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 5. From m minus 4 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 4. Right? Then, m equal to minus 5 and 4 are the roots of our auxiliary equation, which are real and distinct. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. We know that when two roots are real and distinct, then yc looks like c1 plus, sorry, c1 into e power 1 root into independent variable plus c2 into e power another root into independent variable. Now coming to our complementary function. y c equals to c1 e power minus 5 into z plus c2 e power 4 into z. Then y c becomes c1 e power minus 5z plus c2 e power 4z. So this is in, in terms of z, right? Let's write it in terms of x. For that purpose, we'll write e power minus 5z as e power z whole power minus 5 plus c2 into write e power 4z as e power z power 4. Now replace e power z by x. Then we'll get c1 x power minus 5 plus c2 x power 4. Okay? Or we know that x power minus n is 1 by x power n. Then we can write x power minus 5 as c1 into 1 by x power 5. And again, we can write this as c1 by x power 5 plus c2 into x power 4. Therefore, y c equals to c1 x power minus 5 plus c2 x power 4 or c1 by x power 5 plus c2 x power 4. We got yc. Let's find yp now. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into Q of Z. We have our f of theta and Q of Z where f of theta is theta square plus theta minus 20 and Q of Z is 1 plus e power 2z plus 2 e power z. Again we can write this as 1 by f of theta into 1 plus 1 by f of theta into e power 2z plus 1 by f of theta into 2 e power z, right? So this is of 1 by f of theta into constant form. So we can write this constant as constant into e power 0 into z, okay? e power 0 into z. So we'll write this 1 as e power 0 into z or 1 into e power 0 into z. This becomes 1 by theta square plus theta minus 20 into 1 into e power 0 into z plus 1 by theta square plus theta minus 20 into 
e power 2z plus here take the constant towards left of or beside 1 by 4 theta will get 2 into 1 by theta square plus theta minus 20 into e power z. We can find each term separately or we can just go with the flow. This becomes series of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. Right? So compare each term. See all the terms is of are of 1 by f of theta into e power a z. Right? Then for a equals to 0, for a equals to 2, for a equals to 1, we will find f of a. If f of theta equals to all the three terms are of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. We have f of theta equals to theta square plus theta minus 20. We will find f of a for a equals to 0 the first term f equal uh, a equals to 2 for second term a equal to 0 for first term a equal to 2 for second term a equal to 1 for the last term. Okay. So we will get f of 0 equal to just replace theta square by 0. We will get 0 plus 0 minus 20 equals to minus 0 which is not equals to 0. Right. Now coming to the second term just replace a by 2. Just find f of 2 replace f of theta by 2 we will get 2 square plus 2 minus 20 equals to 4 plus 2 minus 20 equals to 6 minus 20 is minus 14 which is not non-zero. Now find f of 1. 1 square plus 1 minus 20 equal to 1 plus 1 minus 20 equal to 2 minus 20 is minus 18. Non-zero. Since f of 0 is non-zero and f of 2 is non-zero and f of 1 is non-zero. So, we will just replace theta by a. Okay? Why it becomes 1 by 0 plus 0 minus 20 into e power 0z plus 1 by replace theta by 2 we will get 2 square plus 2 minus 20 into e power 2z plus 2 into 1 by 1 square plus 1 minus 20 into e power z this equals to 1 by minus 20 into e power 0z plus 1 by 4 plus 2 minus 20 into e power 2z plus 2 into 1 by 1 plus 1 minus 20 into e power z. This equals to minus 1 by 20 into e power 0 z is e power 0. We know that e power 0 is 1. So, you get minus 1 by 20 into 1. Right? Plus. 4 plus 2 6. 6 minus 20 is minus 14 into e power 2 z. Plus 2 into 1 by 2 minus 20 is minus 18 into e power z. Right? This equals to minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 14 into e power 2z plus sorry, minus 2 by 18 into e power z. 2 1s are 2 9s are. Then y becomes minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 14 into e power 2z minus 1 by 9 into e power z. Now yp is in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x. 
So in order, in order to write in terms of x, we'll write e power 2z as e power z whole square minus 1 by 9 into e power z. Now replace e power z by x. Then yp becomes minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 14 into x square minus 1 by 9 into x, right? Which is equal to minus 1 by 20 minus x square by 14 minus x by 9. Which is a required yp. We got yp, right? Now let's find the general solution. We know that the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to, let's write for these two. Firstly, I'll go for the first yc. c1, x4 minus 5 plus c2, x4, 4, 4. And yp is minus 1 by 20 minus x square by 14 minus x by 9 or y equal to go for the second one c1 by x power 5 plus c2 x power 4 and yp is minus 1 by 20 minus x square by 14 minus x by 9. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.